Hi, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com and today I'm coming to you from uh, the California desert, a place called Trona Pinnacles. Uh, recently on the blog I, I did an article on 20 upgrades I've done to our Keystone Cougar rig here. Uh, the, the Cougar came with a lot of really cool features like you got a slide out bike rack and came with a remote control. I can remote control the awning and the front jacks and the slides which honestly I used for about a month and it's been in a drawer. But uh, there was, as we've been living in it the last four years now, uh, there's been a lot of things that I found lacking so I've uh, done a lot of upgrades to the rig and uh, I'd like to show you it's kind of an companion piece to the blog post that I decided to do a little video and go through the 20 upgrades I've done to make uh, living in the rig a little bit uh, easier and also since we like to boondock in these kind of off the beaten path locations um, we needed a few extra things like solar and batteries stuff like that to help our, our off-grid camping be a little more friendly and convenient so uh, Let's go and I'll start showing you uh, all the upgrades that we've installed. Okay, I think I'll start up on the roof here before it gets too hot. Kind of a hot day out here in the desert. So, uh, first, solar. Yeah, I recently added 200 watts of solar. I bought a kit from Renoji and uh, that's really helped. Now that it's into April and we've got lots of daylight, and if I have sunny skies, we can boondock and not ever pull out the generator. That's awesome. Great update there. And then I also, with boondocking in mind, added a uh, what they call a fantastic fan. And that's running right now. So that helps me cool the rig off grid. It takes very little energy and uh, kind of gets some air moving in there. Operates pretty quiet. You can see I also bought the cover. I have the cover off. And the cover just fits on and then clips in with these uh, these clips here. So it's really easy to take on and off to clean. Looks like I'm going to have to do that pretty soon. I've been in a lot of dusty locations. Uh, next, TV antenna. I've got the standard bat wing, that bat wing antenna. So I added this piece here, which is special. Uh, digital antenna add-on and that helps me bring in a few extra stations when we're in the fringe area and uh, improves the reception a little bit. Uh, another update I've done, you can see how uh, that's the sealant that they used for for the roof um, around the antenna gives you an idea what it used to look like. Well I've gone and added a turnabond tape to a lot of them and I'm slowly going to do the whole roof you can see around the vents there, I've added it. And then uh, at the back here, I've also added a lot of that tape right over the original uh, die core sealant. I think that's really an upgrade over how they uh, sealed it. So the next few upgrades, I can show you in the front compartment here. And um, first of all, are the locks. You can see there, if you look closely, it's, it takes a round cylinder key. And the originals I had were the, they call them the CH751. And uh, surprisingly enough, anybody with that key can open up all your storage bays. So I upgraded those with a, a different lock that has a unique key. And also, it's less likely to jam. The other ones just got flaky and were really hard to open. It took me, I had to wiggle them just to find the right place to turn them. But these are very positive. And I got nice little dust caps, which is great for me, being I'm traveling a lot in the dusty desert. It keeps my locks all clean and away free of dirt. And on the coast where it's wet, it keeps the rain out. So in the front storage compartment here, let's open it up. There we go two important upgrades since we boondock off-grid um, the original Keystone battery is here and it was just a 85 amp hour 12 volt deep cycle so what I did 
to improve, improve our capacity for power is I installed this box and I got a pair of uh, 6 volt golf cart type batteries in there. And that gives me 235 total amp hour capacity, which is a nice improvement. And a big reason I want all that battery power is so I can run an inverter. And the inverter allows me to run regular household current items, AC items like chargers and things like that. Computers. We both use laptops a lot. And we have a, a internet uh, cell uh, MiFi unit that we need to charge plus all our cameras so that baby does that it's thousand watt true sine wave inverter so the combination of those two things really have helped us with the solar of course make us pretty in power independent when we're uh, not at campgrounds so those were I did those batteries in the inverter pretty well right away solar has been a recent addition before we were using generators, but I really like that uh, Renoji kit that I installed. You can see the charge controller there. I just have a little amp meter just to figure out, see what's coming off my panels, so I'm pulling in 9.3 amps right now, which is nice. I have one uh, final upgrade outside here before I go inside where the bulk of my uh, upgrades are and that uh, was the installation of this little uh, it's just a twist on valve at the very end of our uh, sewer system um, on this cooler I have actually three different uh, dump valves two uh, gray and a black but they're all kind of buried inside so uh, you can see that long pipe underneath so if those valves leak they collect water right at the end and used to be every time I undid the the cap there'd be a little burst of uh, nasty water but uh, with this simple installation now I have that final valve so I don't get any any drips awesome I don't know why they just don't put that on like really how much does it cost they just uh, obviously don't RV much or something the people who design these things but uh, I think that was about $20 or so, but it's been one of my favorite upgrades for sure because I'm the tank dumper, so every time I go to use it, I go, yay! Okay, inside the rig here, this is uh, our shower stall, and uh, there's a few upgrades I did to it. First, we had nowhere to hang our towels. They give you an RV, and uh, it's like, w where do we put our towels? No, that's up to you. So I... Uh, found this nice, my wife actually found this nice bamboo looking metal rack and uh, I attached it to the side of the shower, drilled a few holes and put some screws into it and also a place to put all our shampoos and soaps, another uh, bamboo rack, same thing, I just drilled some holes into the aluminum uh, railing of the shower and uh, set her up also has a face cloth rack at the bottom. And then um, we had a failure with the, our old taps. The old taps were like multiple turn, kind of old fashioned looking taps. And uh, the one cold water one failed. So I uh, installed a new set of faucets here. And these are just quarter turn. It's, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, quarter turn. So they're very easy to, to set. The, for proper water temperature, much easier than the old multiple turn taps. And while I was at it, I installed one of these, they're called an Oxygenix um, shower head, and vast improvement over the original uh, shower head they included. The other one had a wimpy little stream, this one has a great jet on it, and a nice hose, and at the bottom, a nice shut off valve as well, much easier than the old one. So yeah, those were uh, good improvements to our shower. And still in the bedroom here. Um, they didn't really give a good place to, to put your drink, you know. My wife likes to have a hot tea or a beverage at, at night, so I just put in one of these. It's kind of a marine type. Fold up, folds out of the way, and gives her a place to put her beverage at night. It's really the little things in life that uh, really make you happy. A favorite upgrade of mine is lighting. I've installed uh, some really uh, high quality LED 
lights in the rig and uh, that that uh, helps us save energy and uh, so when we're boondocking I think we're using five or six times less amperage than the original incandescent bulbs so uh, that prolongs uh, time between charging or allows us just to run on solar alone so yeah I really like that the other benefit of it was uh, the old incandescent ones they uh, they would run really hot and were actually melting some of my fixtures over time especially the ones that were on a lot so I really like those uh, are uh, from Starlight's Inc and they've been really good I've had them installed about a year now I really like the, the coloring of them versus a lot of the bluish looking lights and they also have built-in regulations so they can they can uh, work from 8 volts up to 30 volts which is important and they also have a built-in aluminum heat sink so they're really nice uh, pleasing light also on the theme of lighting I installed uh, in my pantry some lighting you can see it's sort of dark in there it's kind of daylight today so you can see quite far in but at night it's hopeless and there's no real convenient light source nearby that lights up the the pantry we have quite deep shelves in there so I used some uh, spare LED lights and BAM now we can see way back in there I know exactly what's in the pantry and it was, didn't cost me much at all and some spare little uh, doesn't take much light in there so that was a good mod upgrade there really really enjoy that one we use it all the time so our uh, Keystone Cougar came with a, a type of thermostat that just had manual slider controls. So you didn't really know exactly what temperature you were setting it at. And it uh, had kind of a two degrees on each side um, separation between when the heater would come on and when it would cut off. So say you, you kind of set the slider for 70 degrees, it wouldn't come on until 68 and it wouldn't stop till 72 which kind of sucks. It's a quite a temperature range. So uh, I found some uh, instructions online and uh, found this Hunter brand. There's a few other brands I think. Uh, one's called a Lumen or something like that. But anyway, I uh, took off the old one, installed this Hunter digital one. Now I can get exact temperature settings and there's only a one degree range on each side. So you know, if I set it for 70, at 69, it comes off and turns at 71. So it makes the rig more comfortable, and you can set exactly what you what you like the temperature to be. Uh, it also works on the the air conditioning as well. So that was a nice upgrade. I really wish they came with uh, with better thermostats to start with, rather than those cheesy uh, slider type manual controlled ones. Okay, just a couple uh, quick items in the kitchen now. Uh, we didn't get a paper towel holder, so uh, just under the sink here where the garbage lives, I put in a nice paper towel holder. And this one can hold the giant economy rolls, which is nice. And then for uh, to increase our storage, I added some of these wire baskets, especially up top here where, you know, it's quite high. Um, I can store my uh, Tupperware containers, anything light, way up there. And also we have another cupboard for linens and things, and I put another one up there. Also, you know, kind of increases our storage, gives us a little more in those really high cupboards. Now for two more little mod upgrades that help with the day-to-day -day living. Um, you can see our TV there. And uh, if I'm watching TV and my uh, lovely wife Anne is over there processing photos um, or writing a blog post or something like that, the TV is, uh, volume is pretty irritating for over there. So uh, I wanted to use headphones. Now I could have went with wireless headphones, but you know they take power if we're boondocking. It's going to be more juice it's using. Or I really I have enough wires already behind the TV. So I... Uh, wired myself a hardwired headphone jack by uh, going into the stereo circuitry and running a long wire underneath the belly of the Cougar. And then right beside my easy chair here I have a nice little jack. So I just plug in my headphones, pop them on, and there's peace in the house. The other one that's uh, really cool was 
we used to have a pile of shoes by our entrance door there. And so I found, get rid of the dog towel, I found uh, behind here was just a paneling, but it was all empty, so uh, I utilized that space and put it in a couple cubby holes to hold our uh, shoes when we're coming in and out of the rig, so no more shoe pile by the door. And finally, the number 20th upgrade I've made was uh, fairly early on I installed a uh, surge protector and this is made by Progressive Industries I highly recommend them really quality built unit made in the US uh, lifetime warranty on it and uh, it's probably saved us a few times I've noticed that there's a couple times in parks where the, the, the voltage would drop very low below 107 which can start to harm you things in, like your refrigerator circuits and stuff like that and it had clicked off a few times and it also protect us against over voltage and it also uh, miswired pedestals that will click off if, if there's something wrong there I also really like this uh, it's off now because we're boondocking on solar but uh, it's a little readout that will give me the voltage and current currently being used by the rig so that's kind of nice to see see how much energy we're drawing and what the current voltage is so I really uh, I think these are down around around two hundred dollars now they've dropped in price since originally I paid about three hundred for them and then of course they come in 30 amp versions like I have and then 50 amp versions um, this one I hard wired into the unit so you can see the black wire coming in is the main wire coming from the outside and then the other one goes out to the the, the distribution panel for my AC power but you also can get the type that are for outside if you want a little more convenience you don't have to wire it in yourself you just plug it into the pole well there you go there's 20 upgrades I've made to the Cougar to help uh, living in it and boondocking make it a bit easier for us um, I have a lot, lot of uh, more planned in the future so stay tuned um, I'm thinking of uh, we're gonna change out a lot of the furniture I want to swap out the couch and make my own kind of day bed area I want to maybe get some tire pressure monitoring system um, two more solar panels and two more batteries would be nice so I have a few more upgrades in mind um, uh, the channel just hit 7,500 subscribers and I'm super stoked. Thanks very much everybody for subscribing. I never, never in my wildest dreams would think that many people would be watching my videos on RVing. So to all my subscribers, thanks very much and uh, hopefully uh, I can keep putting out videos you're interested in. So to wrap it up, I just want you to check out my cool uh, Cougar feature. Yes, remote awning. Whoa! Actually, this is the first time I've used it in about three years. Nice bell and whistle this thing is, but uh, really, honestly, it's just sat there. It's just as easy to use the switch inside. <laughs> Until next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Happy trails, safe travels, and keep the shiny side up. Oh, one more thing I forgot. If you uh, would like to learn more about any of these mods, uh, check out the blog post that I made about them. I've linked to all my uh, articles. Um, almost every one of them I have an article detailing the install and how I did it and where I got the parts from and stuff like that. So uh, I'll link to that um, in the video and in the, the description below. So. Uh, Go check that out if you want to explore any of those upgrades in greater detail. Cheers.